want to thank Gypsy Rose real quick, and I don't think anybody's really done that yet, so. Jip, listen, 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 okay? I personally, I want to thank you, because <laughs> me and Brad were getting real damn nervous that baby was ours, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there is something about the timing of Gypsy Rose Blanchard's latest move that's impossible to ignore. Just when people are starting to question her relationship with Ken, she suddenly drops the paternity test results, making it crystal clear that Ken is in fact the father of her child. But is this announcement just about confirming paternity, or is there something more going on here? Here's why this timing feels so off. Right before sharing the results, Gypsy posted this cryptic video. Complete with a song that feels like it's meant for her ex, Ryan. Almost like she's trying to keep one foot in the past while supposedly stepping into a future with Ken. And then, almost like a clockwork, she pivots and reveals Ken as the father, instantly redirecting the story. It's like she's sending two messages at once, and they couldn't be more different. So why now? Why release the paternity test results right after staring things up with that video? Is Gypsy really all in with Ken? Or is this about managing appearances, controlling narratives, and maybe keeping her options open? She literally watching Gypsy manipulate Ryan in front of our faces. Today we are going deep into the timing of this reveal to figure out what it might actually say about Gypsy's intentions and her relationship with Ken. To really understand what's going on with Gypsy, we have to start with the video she posted. A video that got a lot of people talking. Right after a live session where she was talking about her relationship status, Gypsy drops this clip. And it's not just any video. It's paired with a song that says something like, I know I was a bad girl, but come on, you'd have to be crazy not to take me back. Now, let's break that down. This wasn't a casual song choice. She posted this after her live. What is happening? Yo. I don't have any words. Do y'all have words? Somebody, y'all need words because I don't know what to say after this. This is a bit much. This is... Ryan, what a tangle web we weave. But one thing I'm going to tell you, and two things for sure, you better block that chick. This is how manipulative, and you keep defending her, over Nicholas go to John and you see what she's doing in front of everybody she playing in your face this was a statement when she says you would have to be crazy not to take me back it feels personal it feels intentional it almost sounds like a direct message to her ex Ryan like she's dropping a reminder of what they once had why send out a message like that if she's supposedly moved on with Ken this behavior doesn't exactly scream new beginning it screams mixed signals. It's almost like Gypsy is saying, Remember me, Ryan. Planting a seed of doubt, maybe hoping to stir up some lingering feelings. And let's be clear, this wasn't a slip up. This was deliberate, posted publicly, almost like an invitation for Ryan and everyone else to watch her play both sides. For someone who's supposedly moving forward, it feels calculated, like she's trying to control how each person in her life perceives her. She also posted this on her story saying, apologizing and making amends when we make a mistake and starting a new each and every day. Is this a hint that she is leaving Ken or Ken is leaving her and she's trying to get Ryan back? Then right after posting this message, laden video. Gypsy shares her paternity test results. She reveals that Ken is the father, making a big clear statement about her future. Gypsy posted saying, there's been a lot of chatter around the paternity of our baby, and while we've known for sure from the beginning, I feel that it's finally time to put all these theories to rest. Here are the results showing Ken is the father. Ken is going to be an incredible dad, and we are so excited to welcome our baby girl into the world. Gypsy posted a screenshot of the results she got from the clinic where it states the alleged father, Ken, is not excluded as the biological father. Now, it also showed that his probability of paternity is 99.9%. .9 and also interesting to see that she got the test taken on October 28th, got them back on October 29th, despite some people, Ryan Anderson, stating that they would put money down on the fact that she had this test done long ago and already knew for a fact that Ken was the father. 
Gypsy is hoping that sharing these results that prove Ken is the father of her child will help people to move on and stop speculating that her ex, Ryan, is the father. But the timing right after that cryptic video is where things get even more interesting. It's as if she's trying to have her cake and eat it too showing her commitment to Ken while keeping an emotional grip on Ryan. This move feels like an emotional manipulation. On one hand, she's saying to the world, look at me, I am moving on with Ken. But on the other, there is an underlying message. Don't forget about me, Ryan. It's like she's crafting her story to keep Ryan emotionally invested while also setting up a new narrative with Ken. And it just doesn't feel genuine. Y'all gypsy says this is allegedly the paternity test and if so congratulations ken you were trapped by an unaliver you have won the prize ding 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 Woo! ken you are the winner of pa baby pandemica you must be so joyous that the mother of your child is on parole for unaliving her mother oh that just sounds so crazy isn't that the irish you really, you really hit the jackpot now, Ken. Meanwhile, she's online, basically baiting her ex. <laughs> this is definitely a winner that you guys are having, and I'm so excited for you guys. <laughs> it feels like Gypsy is trying to keep all the cards on her hands, making sure everyone in this story stays evolved, knowingly or not. So, is this really a new chapter for Gypsy? Or is she just trying to maintain control over every relationship in her life? And if she's doing this now, what does that say about her motives going forward? Something about this doesn't sit right. And it's no surprise people are questioning what Gypsy's true intentions are. Are we seeing the start of a happy family with Ken? Or a complex game of emotional chess where she's got one hand holding onto her past and the other stepping into her future? I just want to thank gypsy rose real quick and i don't think anybody's really done that yet so jip listen 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 okay i personally i want to thank you because <laughs> me and ryan were getting real damn nervous that baby was ours okay <laughs> <laughs> i thought in the blink of an eye i was going to be a mother turns out it's no job cans thank gosh because we were hesitant we were panicking okay we were we we're not ready to be your baby's mama and daddy all right jip jip are you really the mama I know we know that baby's no job cans for sure. It's gonna come out with no damn job. But is it yours? <laughs> now don't get anything twisted. I didn't say me and Ryan were having a baby. But I'm just gonna let you know, even from states away, that 10 foot pole might travel far. That's a whole ass 10 foot pole, baby. For jokes and entertainment purposes. <laughs> Now let's look closer at the timing of Gypsy's paternity reveal, because this wasn't just a spur of the moment decision. This reveal happened right after she posted that cryptic video, and it's hard not to see the pattern. And you can bet her PR team, Red Banyan, had a say in it. Red Banyan isn't just any PR team. They are known for managing high-profile, often controversial clients, keeping their stories polished and well controlled. So let's think about this. Was the timing of this reveal really just a coincidence or was there something more strategic at play? Imagine this. Gypsy goes live. She talks about still being married to Ryan. She drops hints about her feelings and then suddenly she clears the air by confirming Kane as the father. It's as if her team saw the potential backlash brewing and jumped into action saying we need to change this narrative. And we need to do it now. It's almost like the PR team recognized that the best way to steer people away from her cryptic message was to pivot the attention to something more wholesome. By dropping the paternity test results, they were probably hoping to turn the story around. Redirecting everyone's focus from the messy relationship understones to a nice, clean family narrative with Ken. But here's the thing. This wasn't just about proving Ken's paternity. This was about keeping her public image in check, about minimizing the potential damage from Gypsy's impulsive choices. That cryptic video didn't go unnoticed. It's out there, public, and a glaring sign that Gypsy's ties to Ryan are far from over. And for a PR team that prides itself in controlling stories, this probably wasn't part of the plan. Think about it. By revealing Ken as the father, they are trying to create a stable, forward-looking image for Gypsy. 
But if her heart or even part of it is still with Ryan, no PR strategy can fully cover that. It's almost like they are trying to paint over a crack in the wall, hoping no one will notice it's still there. Gypsy's team might be aiming to present a picture-perfect family narrative, but the cryptic video and her lingering connection to Ryan shows there's a lot more happening beneath the surface. It's kind of like, don't sit there and then constantly be like, she's my wife, I can talk about her all I want. She's my wife, she's my wife, she's my wife. Well, looking at that video, that's my husband. That's my husband. He's slapping some girl's ass, that's my husband. We're still married, he's still married, I'm still married. So what does this mean for her future with Ken? If her PR team is already struggling to manage the fallout from these emotional outbursts, can they keep things under control in the long run? And what happens if Gypsy keeps sending mixed messages? This carefully timed reveal might work for now, but at some point, these cracks in the story are bound to show. It's just a matter of time. So was this timing just Gypsy's emotional decision or was there something more calculated at play? Think about the sequence of events. Right after a live where she openly talks about still being married to Ryan, shares her complicated feelings and suddenly decides to clear the air with the paternity test. It's like her PR team saw the storm coming and decided to change direction before things got worse. It's almost as if Red Banyan recognized that the best way to control the fallout from Gypsy's cryptic video was to redirect everyone's attention to something safer, something more wholesome. By publicly confirming Ken as a father, they are trying to pivot the narrative saying, forget about the mess with Ryan, let's focus on Gypsy's new life with Ken. But here's where things get complicated. This isn't just about proving Ken's paternity. This is a carefully timed distraction, an attempt to clean up the mess Gypsy's impulsive choices have left behind. Her team probably knew the cryptic video would raise questions about her true feelings for Ryan, so they tried to fix it by shifting the conversation. But the cryptic video isn't just something you can brush off aside. It's still out there, casting a shadow over the paternity reveal. Think about it, Red Banyan likely wanted Gypsy's story to be one of stability, a story of moving forward, but Gypsy's actions, from the cryptic video to her live sessions, keep dragging her back into the drama. For a PR team used to controlling narratives, Gypsy's unpredictability must be incredibly frustrating. They are trying to cover the cracks in her image, but her impulsive behavior keeps exposing them. So, was this reveal about confirming Ken's place in her life? Or was it an attempt to sweep her emotional mess under the rug? Because for someone supposedly starting fresh, Gypsy's actions say something else. Her PR team can only do so much, and it's clear Gypsy's emotional ties with Ryan are hard to control. By shifting the story, they are trying to serve her image. But Gypsy's behavior reveals a truth that the PR team can't hide. That her past is still very much alive in her present. So what does this mean for Gypsy's relationship with Ken? If her heart is still tied to her past with Ryan, no PR strategy can fully convince the public that she's moved on. This reveal may work as a temporary fix, and when they do, it's only a matter of time before Gypsy's carefully crafted story starts to unravel.